Welcome everyone to our 2020 SEIU 721 State of the Union. Bottom line, the failure of our national response is a national shame. Especially when COVID-19 first hit, the powers to be put all of our lives at risk without the proper PPE. Yet throughout the crisis, the members have gone the extra mile. This is what I mean when we say we are the safety net. Without us, it all falls apart. This fight has just started and we need everybody with us. In Tri-Counties, it has its challenges too. In the city of Santa Paula, they want mandatory furloughs of 54 hours and 2.6% pay cut. They want to cut vacation buyback from 80 hours to 40 hours. They want to temporarily suspend the sick leave incentive program. Let's talk about LA County. The CEO just said their budget would eliminate 4,000 positions. It would also include 1,300 layoffs. Many employees would be bumped out of the position and there would be demotions. At the end of the day, we have an answer for this. We are on the offensive. Our union is ready to fight. SEIU 721 is leading the fight for justice in the gig economy with the Mobile Workers Alliance. We're helping workers at Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash fight for basic workplace protections, fair wages, and a union. We're also leading the fight for $15 an hour to help fast food workers win basic protections on the job and for a union, but we still have a lot of work to do. Our union believes that all workers deserve a voice at work, safety in the workplace, and to be compensated fairly for the work they do. As they say in the labor movement, an injury to one is an injury to all. We must pass the Schools and Communities First California Ballot Proposition this November. For schools and communities will reclaim more than $11 billion, that's billion with the B, for schools and communities by closing corporate tax loopholes created more than 40 years ago in Prop 13, forcing corporations and billionaires to pay their fair share of property taxes. For the first time in decades, there's a wave of people demanding that we invest in the services that SEIU 721 members devote their lives to. We've got to put pressure on the Senate to pass the HEROES Act that will bring over $1 trillion to state and local governments alone. We're seeing unprecedented job losses and unprecedented numbers of people getting sick. It's bad for everybody, but it's especially bad for black and brown people who are disproportionately bearing the brunt of this crisis. This disease revealed fault lines in our society that are too obvious to ignore. The recent murder of George Floyd at the hands of police brutality has caused those fault lines to finally fracture. The reality of systemic racism in this country has become impossible to ignore and people are demanding change. George Floyd did not create the moment. He created a movement. Black Lives Matter. This movement is a call to action for every single one of us to break our silence. Let the movement inspire us to do better for racial justice, economic justice, housing justice, immigration justice for all. Because we are at a crossroads, we can either rebuild an economy that works for a handful of billionaires, or we can create something new, a just and inclusive society and economy that grows the middle class. So let's be clear, it's time to vote Donald Trump out. We are going to have to be the heroes, and we are going to have to fight. <laughs>